Hello, my name is Yasushi Maruyama, professor of philosophy of education, Hiroshima University. What did you find in peace educators' interviews? The interviews of four peace educators this time, Mr. Egusa, Mr. Makioka, Ms. Oshioka, and Ms. Arimori are varied. They are carefully chosen among different generations. Gender, teaching subjects, and school levels are also different. Two educators are female and the other two are male. Two educators are elementary school teachers, another is a junior high music teacher, and another is a high school math teacher. It does not mean they are representatives of the generations, nor their life histories are typical cases in the groups they belong to. You can, however, find some characteristics from the life histories of the peace educators. Becoming a teacher means to each of them differently. When your family cannot afford to provide you with further education, still you could take education if you go to a normal school. This is Mr. Eggs's case. Becoming a nurse or an elementary school teacher was the only way to be independent for a girl in the 1950s and 60s. This is Ms. Oshioka's case. They were not full-fledged peace educators from the beginning. In the course of their growth as peace educators, they encountered senior colleagues of peace educators. They were involved in social activities and they struggled with social political problems. Mr. Egusa needed activities in Hiroshima Institute for Peace Education in order to establish his teaching methods. Mr. Makioka met two senior teachers, Mr. Kayahara and Mr. Ota, who led him to peace education. Esperanto learning made Ms. Oshioka a sophisticated peace educator. Participating in Japan Overseas Cooperation Volunteers provide a chance of becoming a peace educator to Ms. Arimori. As to social political problems, the peace educators wanted to contribute to solving the problems through peace education. Pollutions in Korea area were to be solved as a part of peace education for students of Mr. Makioka. International mutual understanding should be a way of building peace in the world for Ms. Arimori. Other keywords are the conflict between the Ministry of Education and the Teachers Union, corrective guidance for school teachers in Hiroshima, US Japan Security Treaty, Okinawa, Vietnam, and so on. Peace educators also wanted their students to be able to learn by themselves. Accordingly, teaching methods have been revised from teacher-centered education to student-centered education. Declining of teacher Teachers' union popularity, international mutual understanding become more attractive and encourage peace educators to try a new approach to peace education. Personally speaking, Mr. Makioka's life history is interesting to me because I was born in Kure as the same as Mr. Makioka was. Actually, I went to Kure Miyahara High School when he worked there. I myself was influenced by the history teacher Hideo Ota, whose father, Lieutenant General 
Minoru Ota died in the Battle of Okinawa. Any place is unique and Kure's city is not exceptional. Kure was the most popular place among boys before the end of World War II because Naval Academy was located nearby. Kure had one of the biggest naval ports at that time, while Hiroshima had a huge army, bay, army base. The residents in both cities somehow lived on military activities. As to Kure, there still exist self-defense forces at this moment. If you know more about the histories of both cities, you may find a complexity of the history of peace education in Hiroshima.